Shoutouts once again to Futures First Gaming and TCNJ Lions Gaming. Like I said earlier, my sister's alma mater. So proud of that university. Stu, yep. what time is it? You already know, Myron versus Esam. Welcome to Grand Finals here at King 2021, the final destination we go. And with Animal Crossing music, oh my gosh, how cursed can this possibly get? Let's find out. Pikachu begging versus you, Olimar. I'm begging you, Chris. It's take one day to go through the music. It's not going to take too, too long, I swear. It's going to suck because there are a lot of songs in this game that you're going to have to reduce we, it down we, to. We, we, we can worry about that later on. I promise we can. But this is a, that's, a, that's a discussion to happen uh, yes, off stream. What sure. we can talk about right now, Myron, the last time that these two competed, it was actually at a collision event. It was at Return to Subspace. Myron and, uh, Myron and Esam taking each other on in losers quarterfinals. Esam taking that a clean 3-0. And if Esam does that here, all that's good for is a reset and you're giving Myron a little bit of time to adapt. And you have to think that Myron's been kicking that set around in their head just a little bit, thinking what can they do better? This could just be the opportunity that they've been looking for. Bro, the adaptation was pretty solid back in winners finals. Esam won that first game and then Myron, as that up air takes the stock, just never looked back. It didn't even go to game five in winners finals. It was 3-1 on the part of Myron. And you know that that's not necessarily how this was seeded with how Esam typically does in these Wi-Fi brackets. So frankly, I'm more anxious to see the counterplay on Esam's part necessarily than Myron's as we uh, potentially will go into a grand finals reset if Esam is to win. But that's a big if, Stu. And he's already down a stock Ooh. as I say that. You got your first commentator's curse of grand finals for you. Taking the stock is Myron right there. Back to an even game. Yeah, no, I mean, Myron does not let themselves get down all that uh, all that easily. But yeah, Esam. They've, uh, these are two pretty stable, consistent players, all things considered. Esam, you know, they'll, they'll bring the sauce if they absolutely need to. Get the, uh... Yellow yeah, Pinkman surviving. Did you yeah. see that? Yeah, no. There it is, yeah, once yeah, again, right there. <laughs> shout out to them, man. Uh, honestly, if, we, if only we all had their resilience, but... Honestly, bro. Yellow Pinkman out here fighting the good fight. Mm. And Myron out here fighting the grand finals fight. Gonna take the stock with that meaty hit right there. Looking just like Winner's Finals, Stu. I don't know what the adaptation on Esan's part is going to be, but hey, it's just the first game. Oh, oh my there it gosh! Is. And, well, there you go, Esan again, not letting them, not letting themselves get down all that easily. Myron, if you want to, if you want to mess about, you're going to find out, and that there is going to find out, find you out real quick. But yeah, again, trying to get this spacing, getting the red Pikmin off of them pretty quickly is Esan and. Yeah, even though they are down, Myron is able to uh, get this back relatively uh, relatively easily. Though, yeah, it's been a pretty back-and-forth affair thus far. No one really establishing themselves as being super dominant, just kind of getting more damage off of combos than anything else. Wow. As Myron is going to catch out Esam's quick attack, and that's going to be game number one in favor of the Olmar Extraordinaire Myron. That was wonky. This is what I was talking about before, you know, back in Winter's Finals when Myron hit that down air to intercept Pikachu's up B. It's exploitable. Take a look. Right there on the way yeah. back. You can hit Pikachu when he's doing that move. I know it's annoying. I know it seems like he's everywhere. I know it seems like he pancakes everything. I know it makes you really hungry for IHOP because you see, you see pancaking and it makes you hungry for that since you didn't eat earlier in the day. But did you have to call me out like that? Dude, you, I, like, yes, exa yes, I did. Go get some breakfast if you haven't eaten already. It's you almost really six didn't. You really didn't need to, man. I smell stuff cooking downstairs. I <laughs> want to get down there, and I'm not necessarily hoping that Myron 3 ozy e Sam for that reason, <laughs> but I'm saying that it is in the realm of possibility. So but the point yeah. is, you okay. can hit Pikachu when he do, when he does the uppy. Okay, Fair. just okay. put out a put out a hitbox. All right, kids, just just do it. You can thank me later. Also, we have Waffle House down here. Yes. But uh, regardless of that, it, it, you know, it depends on which one, you know, if they're hit and miss. But Myron, again, I you know, hey, we have, oh, damn it. We, have a, we have a down air of your own. You, you did that to yourself, Nintunist. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's my fault. Myron, yeah, trying to establish themselves in the middle of the stage. But again, it's like whatever you can do with these sentient flowers, I can do with Thunder Jolts. And Esam is going to try to provide oh. full effect of that. Myron says, enough of that. I'm going to rush you down. 
and throw this large boy into your face. That's going to be stock number one from Iron. Bro, he turned around, canceled that forward smash. Did you see that? That was sick. That was absolutely sick to get that spacing perfectly on point for it. And I think one thing that you and I are both kind of underappreciating here on par of uh, Myron is his Pinkman management, which is a huge thing with managing the characters. Of course, you can switch out which one you want to use as a hitbox by just spamming them in place with like up airs when like you're on the other side of the level resetting neutral as that dash attack takes the stock. But also, I don't know if you noticed, there were multiple times throughout this set and mainly throughout this game where he specifically had two yellows on deck. That's not coincidental. He, he's doing that on purpose to make sure he can just like throw his Pinkman out with no risk of losing them against the electricity-based Pokemon. The yellow ones are completely invulnerable to the electricity. They'll just eat it up like breakfast, lunch, and dinner like you're at an IHOP. So you know Myron is gonna be whipping out those ones along with the purple Pinkman to not only get meaty hits, but to just throw out Pinkman with no risk. We're not, uh, we're not sponsored by IHOP, by the way. No. So it's just- Not yet. yet. Yeah, not, not, we'll, we'll just start it's saying bad stuff about IHOP. Um, <laughs> like, uh, like the, like the rest of the menu. Anyway, uh, so we're gonna get the, uh, <laughs> we're gonna get the, uh, Myron popping ESAM up and trying to bat him around, trying to add on to this lead, but ESAM just a little too tenacious on the ground game. Yeah, let's see how tough you are without those Pikmin by your side, Olimar, and ESAM is uh, going to try to make quick work of this uh, second stock. But again, the resourcefulness of Myron, just a little too tough to uh, for some to handle, even if they are the, four, the number 14 player on a PGR. For sure, my friends, for sure. Electricity Pokemon, uh, Pokemon. Electricity Pinkman launching up the uh, Pikachu right there. Not going to kill. The yellow one is amazing for tacking on damage with the Pinkman throw, but it's not as good at raw damage with actual melee hits. Using it as a disjoint, yeah, it's got the range, but it's still not as good as, say, a purple or a blue Pinkman, to say the least. But as we go down to the last stock of game number two here, we are going to have only one purple on deck, but the blue as well, which you know that Myron is going to be searching for that. That grab right here. He's got it on deck. He's looking for it. There it is. He was expecting a roll in from Esam, not getting it this time around. But you know what he wants: the blue Pinkman, the strongest one for the throws, and the purple Pinkman, strongest one for the hits. As you saw right there, for Myron to go up 2-0 in grand finals. One more to 3-0 Esam of all players and win King 2021. Stu, he might just do it. I mean, at this point, if you're Myron, you have enough of a lead. I say just park the bus. You really don't need a... ESAM is the one that has to prove something. And, you know, there's, it's not like ESAM can do everything with Thunder Jolt, especially not when you have, like, one or two uh, yellow Pikmin out on the field. You just kind of put them in the front, let them absorb everything. And I mean, if you can just slow this down real quick and... I think that ECM kind of recognizing the severity of the situation. Let's see just how Wi-Fi you want to take this, Myron, because uh... out comes the Min Min. And you thought you got away from the food references. Nah, man. Mm. Be like a little onion in your noodles. I, I, uh, sure. Sure, I suppose. I mean, I'm sure that noodles are a very popular dish over on Hakate Freight. But that's, I'm not even sure if that's where we are. This is going to be different. You know, Esam has been talking about how toxic this character is for quite a long time. He's been working on a Min Min just as much as DeBuzz has, that's for sure. Of Smash going to negate that from the air right there. And that's another good reason to pick Min Min. Not just for, like, the obvious long distance game and being the best distance demon in the game as that Smash attack is going to do it. But also because you gotta remember, that up smash reflects projectiles and negates them. You can see Esam just spamming it in the corner to try to reflect those Pinkmen right back at the Hockitation. And nothing doing if it just kills them, that's even better, says Esam. So far, the counter pick. It's only been less than a minute, Stu. It's looking like it's working out pretty damn good for Esam. Esam, the individual who wound up being number 13 on the first version of the, uh, of the PGR, if you remember. But... Yeah, just barely missing out on it on uh, version 2. So has, uh, maybe not as consistently on uh, said ranking, but still has reached a height higher than Esam has uh, in this game. Esam, uh, maybe trying to, uh, trying to rectify a few mistakes that they made in this one as, uh, yeah, three stocks to one. Yeah, that's not where you, that's not what you do with this character, Esam. <laughs> that was yeah. very silly. 
He, he was at like sort of that perfect little mid-range against the ledge where it's un it's like it sort of seems like that's what you're supposed to do and your only real option is to up e if you don't have a jump, right? But you're still far enough away from it to the point where it's not going to tether. Very unfortunate for Esam, but I mean, thankfully for him, he was up 3-1. Though he still has a whole other stock to work with here as long as Myron doesn't take Ooh. this one immediately, cracking the glass and destroying the 30-day timer of Pinkman 1, taking away all oxygen from Olimar right here. The question is, will he suffocate throughout the rest of this set, or will he be able to adapt to the strange new creature that he discovered on the planet in the Min Min Captain's Log? Found a creature with insanely long limbs. It's really annoying, and I don't know what to do about it. Hit send. I mean, that might just be uh, that might just be Myron's water wraith right here. We just don't know quite yet. But that's uh, game number three. Esam not out of this thing yet, especially not on the back of this Min Min play. Myron is going to have to adapt to this if they want to take this without a reset. And I mean, I, I, it's not to say that they can't do it. We've seen them. Uh, we've seen them have success against a few min mins before but again it's just like how you're not necessarily playing uh the pikachu matchup when you're playing esam you could very well say the same about their min min you just don't know yeah i mean they're very different characters so it's gonna be interesting to like feel out how like it's gonna be interesting to feel out how like a pikachu player like esam will be able to adapt what he knows with pikachu to a character like min min who in one way is kind of full gimmick in what this character does, of course, with the way she's designed. I mean, her forward tilt is the same thing as her jabs, which is also the same thing as her forward airs. Like, that's a gimmicky character to say. When, like, you have three things like that that are technically different moves that are all the same moves. But hey, it works! You know, I'm, I'm fighting up close to Pikachu right now. He's utilizing the proper Pinkman to get around, like, my electricity-based attacks. Screw it, I don't want to fight this thing. I'm just getting back, and I'm just going to hit the A and B buttons really hard and wait for him to die. Like character, too, so you know it's going to happen early. I mean, more than, uh, more than one way to do it, and it's oh. going to be uh, stock number one taken real easily. Myron, again, you're lucky you got only one game to uh, really need to really complete the download. And Myron putting themselves in a position to win early on. Easy, I'm getting taken off of the stage just a little too easily. And, uh, yeah, maybe these, uh, maybe the, uh, park in the bus isn't the play. You just gotta grab them and no DI? Is there just Bro. no DI or bad DI? I don't really know. That felt like it took a little had, long to get out. Had to have been bad DI. The game did not think that was gonna kill. There was no lightning, Stu. I mean, look, no one thought that would kill. Let's be real about that, but <laughs> Let alone like Esam. That, <laughs> yeah, for That's real. For sure. yeah, yeah, all right. So it had to have been bad DI. Game. I'm not yeah, really sure what the uh, what the purpose of that really is, but <laughs> nevertheless, uh, yeah, Esam at the very least able to get these Pikmin off relatively easy, but not without uh, them doing a bit of a bang up job on their uh, on their meter. Still a full stock lead here for Myron, who's going to look to close this out. And as Myron has championship glory in their sights, this winner of a few offline invitationals already in recent memory. Coming right back into it onto the online scene and gonna try to crown themselves the king, but Esam says you're gonna have to do this at the expense of my Min Min. The question is, how much room does Esam really have to work with here? And how quickly is it going to run out here when you're off ledge? Oh man, oh this could be the end right there, especially with that power dragon. But one thing I'm noticing quite a lot, and I gotta point this out, Stu, is that Oh, oh, wow, what a wow, beautiful, beautiful usage of the whistle armor right there to make it back onto the stage. One thing I'm noticing a lot is Myron is doing a wonderful there job at winning King 2021 right there. Specifically, if you notice what I was going to say is that he was forcing East Sam to use a lot, utilize a lot of short hop neutral B, uh, ne not neutral Bs, neutral airs to get the Pinkman off because that was Min Min's best way to get the Pinkman off without reflecting them with an up smash. Min Min wasn't playing the far away game too much to reflect those and when she was trying to, it wasn't working. So in a sense, e Myron kept forcing Esam to utilize neutral air to get the Pinkman off of her. And as a result, he was just able to run in and get damage out of that because he put himself back in the air. It's funny, it, it, like the counterpick actually accomplished the exact opposite of what Esam wanted to do in that sense, as well as not being prepared to DI those throws, as we mentioned earlier. And then the blue Pinkman, right when needed, goodbye. Yeah, no, 
getting that grab was absolutely crucial. But again, that's not necessarily Esam uh, losing that game. That's just Myron, again, playing like they do. They see every game as a problem, and they solved the problem. And Myron solving problems all the way to the crown of King 2021. This tournament being presented to you by the College of New Jersey, and of course, uh, and of course, FFG, our good partners from down in Wilmington, Delaware. Futures First Gaming, a great organization. Definitely proud to be in association with them, bringing opportunities to black and brown youth across the country. And that's going to do it for us. Uh, shout outs to Chris Lodian in production, holding it down on uh, behind the camera and sometimes in front of the camera. Uh, no shout outs to my internet connection, folks. We had to get that stabilized. I mean, certainly appreciate your patience. Uh, and definitely shout outs to Nintunist. Nah, not just a great, uh, not just a great caster, but a podcaster as well. Uh, yeah, you can, so you can check out the Double D Experience every single Friday at 8 on YouTube and Spotify and wherever fine podcasts are uh, distributed and whatever you call his. I was waiting for it. I was waiting for it. It comes like, in quick, no bro. no way he was actually going to do a genuine spot for my podcast. I'm like, where's the roast? It's coming. It's coming. There it is. Well, yeah, I do that. I think we're pretty much done here unless we don't have anything else, any other ad slides or plugs that we have to do. We already had my good man Stu right here uh, telling us what it is on par for Future First Gaming. You don't need me to say that entire spiel again. No, we are pretty much all done right here. So definitely, if you haven't already... Follow Master Hand Gaming right here for all some of the greatest Smash content and Smash tournaments you have to offer. We got another great one coming up just next week, I believe, being brought to you by Community Gaming over on Facebook Gaming. So you're not going to want to miss that one. I'll probably be... I'd probably be casting with this guy again, if we're being real. It's, it's just probably what's going to happen. Ninstoonist, as they're calling us now. I've seen a couple people say that. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, people people have been saying that. Yeah, they have. We, we've heard so many people say that, folks. It's, yeah. it's actually remarkable the number of people that we have heard uh, say that. It's actually pretty astounding. Um, but yeah, shout outs to all of you for watching. Shout outs to the College of New Jersey for hosting this and being in partnership with uh, Futures First Gaming. And of course, uh, shout outs to all of you for being in the Smash community and my challenge to you, do something nice for a stranger today. There's a lot of, a lot of bad stuff happening in this world, so let's be part of the good. So yeah. one more time, final score in Grand Finals. It was Myron taking it over Esam by a score of three to one. The Min Min did get a, did get a game off of the Olimar Extraordinaire, but uh, yeah, just an overgrowth of foliage. Well, that'll uh, take over any noodle restaurant now, won't it? So <laughs> that's going to do it from here in the uh, in the Garden State. For an Intunus Crystalodian production, I'm Stu the Announcer saying good night and happy smashing.